My name is Marcela Pardo Arisa, and I'm an artist and curator living in San Francisco. And I'm Kim Beal. Today we are going to be looking up close at Paul Wanner's painting Wine Glass and Postcard Zorboran from 1968. Marcela, what drew you to this painting? I feel like I was drawn to the painting because of the times that we're in. Um, I've been thinking a lot about isolation and also very drawn to small details of how we arrange our daily lives. So I was drawn to this one because there there are such relatable objects in it. You mentioned earlier there's this feeling that everything happened quickly, like somebody stood up and walked away and yet everything's perfect as well. I think some of that feeling for me comes from the fact that the postcard is out of the frame. So it's almost photographic, Mm -hmm. like in making a choice that almost seems accidental to let this thing kind of fall out of the picture. Yes, absolutely. And interestingly enough, there is, you know, even though the wine glass, it's by itself, everything else is, you know, in groups in the postcard, like there's lemons and I think apples. And I, you know, I remain kind of curious about what is in the third plate. But yeah, it's interesting that it's also the still life table, like has a table inside and it rests almost similarly to the table that it's in. Kind of following all this, you know, kind of like perfect perspective style. Yeah, it's interesting too, because he, you know, this is like 1968 and I feel like that is such a year, (laughs) revolutionary year. And there's something that almost feels imminent about that space in the middle you know like something is like about to ignite or explode or something whereas like the the normalcy of like the wine glass and the still life is kind of being questioned like there's something eerie around it yeah I felt that in these times too I think you know we are noticing things that are beautiful and I almost have a question to myself every time I do that like is it okay to notice something beautiful even in this time that's so dark and so challenging Mm -hmm. for so many people. And I wonder if some of that anxiety is in this painting as well, that there's a lot happening in the world that Warner is, can see and is close by. No, that I think is interesting to, to realize that we're drawn to the simplicity of this objects like the the wine glass or the postcard um as a you know as a way of like understanding the importance of simpler elements uh while also knowing that there's something hovering above our heads that's a little bit more tumultuous um and uncertain and inexpressible too you know like we don't really know the the consequences of this in its fullness yet uh, and i i like to think that you know this painting or or this space of this painting kind of has that mysteriousness that's somewhat dangerous. So I know you work in photography um, and this seems like a photographic painting to me. I was talking about the framing earlier too. Mm-hmm. Do you, can you imagine having taken a picture like this? Like what would you do differently if you were to have made an artwork like this? Uh, but I, what, I, what I found the most interesting about it was the fact that everything feels so calculated, including the leaving out of the rest of the postcard. And I felt like that was just like an invitation for the viewer to complete it. And I think, you know, as a photographer, I love that the artwork is not complete until it is seen. And it feels like a very generous open invitation, which I appreciate. So I was drawn to that. And then I was thinking so much about light, too. And thinking about like where the source of the light is. And, you know, you kind of think that there's a window or something on the left side of the painting that is coming through, that is uh, letting this light that leaves the shadow of the glass. Um, And interestingly enough, I thought (laughs) that the light source is also coming from the same side in the postcard. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. I hadn't noticed that before, but it's it is as if the postcard shares the same light source. Yeah, And it's a beautiful metaphor for people seeing things together online. You know, we're having a shared experience, though we are definitely not in the same place. Thank you so much, Marcella, for looking up close at this painting by Paul Warner from the Anderson Collection at Stanford.